SpaceX, in partnership with T-Mobile, has launched the first six satellites with direct-to-cellular capability. Does that mean you're going to get Starlink broadband straight to your smartphone sometime soon? Not quite. Stay tuned for the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, here to give you an update on SpaceX and T-Mobile's coverage above and beyond partnership they announced 15 months ago, and we've been waiting quite a while to see if they were ever actually going to do something with this technology alliance and launch some satellites capable of beaming Starlink service directly to T-Mobile cell phones and cell phones by other carriers around the world. And well, after a very long wait, just this week, SpaceX announced they have launched the first six satellites that have this capability built into it. Now, this is a different capability than Starlink, though, and a lot of people are confused. They're thinking this is going to be Starlink broadband coming down to cell phones, and that is not the case. That has not been the plan at all. This is basically a completely separate cellular tower in space payload that is just piggybacking on Starlink satellites and using a little bit of T-Mobile spectrum in the United States and other carriers around the world to let the Starlink satellite be a cell tower to your phone. So that is still pretty exciting. It might not be Starlink service, but it is still, sounds like a really cool idea. And the idea is to eliminate dead zones so you can have cellular coverage anywhere you go with a clear view of the sky. But it's not what some people think. They think it's going to be just like being with a cell tower or even better. They're thinking it's going to be like Starlink broadband, 100 megabits per second. And that is not the case. And we actually appreciate even Elon Musk has jumped into the conversation saying, trying to set expectations that this is not a replacement for cellular. This is not competitive with cellular. This is just filling in the gaps where there are no cell towers in partnership with terrestrial cell carriers, not in competition to them. And the amount of capacity that is coming down and reaching a phone, well, Elon said that it will be seven megabits per second speed spread out to everyone over a very large area. And the, the spot being the signal from each satellite will be covering a huge area, only seven megabits per second. So very, very slow speed shared by everyone in that area that the satellite is passing through. So you're not going to be streaming. You're not going to be doing much of anything over these signals anytime soon until the technology is evolved and a lot, lot, lot more satellites are launched way down the road. What is going to be launching initially is, well, right now is launching just test satellites. The first six are test satellites, um, and SpaceX has got a license from the FCC to do 840 test satellites between now and June. And these are only authorized to do service to 2,000 different phones in 25 locations in the country. So this is not something that is going to customers, real people, anytime soon, but it's letting them prove that the technology works, can talk from Starlink satellites to a phone without causing interference, and assuming all the testing goes good, maybe later in 2024 they'll be able to flip the switch with T-Mobile, and T-Mobile customers will get service. But not cellular, full cellular service. Initially in 2024 it will be text messaging. That's all the system will have capability for. Not surfing, not streaming, none of that. It'll be text messaging is it which is still pretty cool. If you're in the middle of nowhere and you want to get connected, text messaging can be great. And, you know, Apple's already rolled out something similar for emergency service connections to iPhone 14s and 15s. And now this will work for T-Mobile customers, no matter what your existing 4G phone. It's using 4G towers. It's like a, it's like a 4G signal coming down from space to existing T-Mobile phones. So text messaging coming probably later into 20, 2024. And then in 2025 and 2026 and the years beyond, they'll eventually be able to also do voice and then slow speed data. So there's a roadmap to take this even further, but it is still a very long road to go. A lot of satellites need to launch. A lot of testing needs to happen. And we do keep hearing from people who are saying, I'm gonna so looking forward to ditching my cell plan and ditching my cell carrier and switching to SpaceX. That's not going to be what's going to happen. This is in partnership with the terrestrial cell carriers, and it's just a small complement, a small bit of bandwidth in the places where the cell towers do not exist. Not Starlink broadband, not going to a small antennas and a phone like that. Still, pretty exciting technology. We're going to be very eagerly waiting for the announcements of the first successful tests. 
Um, and of course, Starlink and SpaceX are not the only companies doing direct-to-sell stuff. Apple has already done it in the iPhone 14 and 15. Um, AT&T is working in partnership with a company called Space Mobile that has already demonstrated some test technology going to normal cell phones uh, using AT&T spectrum from satellites. And um, other companies like Link and even uh, Amazon Kuiper is going to be doing some direct-to-sell payloads as well. So over the years ahead, and it'll be several, several years ahead, there will be a lot more stuff with direct-to-sell. But it's kind of exciting to see SpaceX actually get the satellites off the ground, and we're going to wait to learn more about them. So if you are excited about this sort of technology of being able to get satellite connectivity to existing cell phones without special new radios in them, uh, let us know. Um, comment down below or like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this or come join us over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center and um, go even deeper in the conversation. Take care and stay connected. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.